What's up guys, Juggalo here, and you're wondering why I'm making this video probably. And as you guys know, the Tempest case is pretty much a fail. One, the HD audio cable connector connecting to the motherboard came out. Two, it's going to take two weeks to get that replacement part, let alone I haven't gotten any notification when I'm going to get it. Three, the PCI slots on the motherboard actually had metal in and it wasn't fully uh, carved out for the PCI Express bracket from the graphics card to even go in properly. So I had to take out the motherboard and put it back in. So let's see if this case right here, the Thermal Take AMD version black edition or AMD edition will do any better to what I need and not have as many issues. So let's see, okay, that's the back of the box. Okay, this right here is going to be in the front. It's going to have two uh, 120s at the top, one on the front and one in the back. Then you also have one on the side if you need to. Alright, so here it is right here. And then, right here it explains everything and all that stuff, so that's really not important because I'll be showing you guys the case. I literally just came back from Micro Center. I haven't even had time to prep the case, meaning uh, opening it up and taking it out so I can show you guys it. So one second here and I am going to try to be as careful as possible because I plan to use this box if I can to ship it to my uncle guy now it's a good thing if you are going to be making products for family members and all that stuff I usually um, take a marker right here like so and then I'm just gonna put uh, markings on the box to indicate that hey this is the front so that's what I do just just a precaution you know in case I forget so now what I like to do is basically take the case if you can and then flip it on its side or other side right here like this and then lift straight up It's going to take a little while for it to pop up, but I think it came out already. Alright, there we go. Put the box on the side. And we're going to go ahead and... Ooh, it still has some static electricity. So, that's what I did right here. Make an F for the front. So... I know which way it goes, and I did it on both sides, so there you go, see it's right there, so that's the front, and then looks like we got to flip the case upside down, and immediately when you get the case, you're going to have your manual right here. So there you go. Of course you're going to have protective coating on the case to ensure that it doesn't scratch or anything like that. So I'll try not to uh, remove that if I'm building the computer again essentially. So, ooh, still has, god man, that makes me mad. Alright, this here doesn't have thumb screws. Luckily for me I got a whole baggie full of thumb screws and stuff. So, I'll just replace that with some thumb screws to make it easier on myself. I'm trying to find them where they're at, actually. Alright, no biggie, can't find them. I'm sure they're around here somewhere. But, uh, it has standard edition screws. So, it's not that bad. So, i got to go ahead and go in the back right here. And I have to undo these 
four screws on either side all around here. So let me go ahead and take that off. So I'm trying to do this as quick and as efficient as I can for this video because <clears throat> YouTube takes quite some time to do that. And here are the thumb screws right here. These are awesome. This is what I'm going to replace those standard screws with black because I think what they should have done is include some black screws just for the uniform of the case and everything like that. And I think I have some black screws laying around. Yeah, I do. Like so. So, try to make everything black. Um, just so it looks nicer, you know. If it's all uniform. I like u uniformity if possible. So, there we go. We have all the screws taken apart. Now let's do the boring side. Which is uh, back. So let me go ahead and take that off. Side panel is taken off. And here you go. So let me lower the camera a little bit so you guys can actually see. So this all right here is nice. So you can have access to a cooler if you have an aftermarket one. This indentation here is going to basically be your uh, PSU holder. And then you have cables for HD audio and everything like that and it has USB 3.0 which is nice. Now I'm going to show you the side panel. So let me get that over there. This is the side panel right here. I'm going to keep this off. I'm not going to take this off but it has a little artwork on it, a little scorpion. Um, has a hole in the side. Supposedly you can fit a fan here but I don't see any uh, screw holes so I'm guessing you use these as holes to mount the fan onto. Has a little window and there's the back so nothing too too extravagant. So yeah. Alright. Let's get to the front right here. So this is an all red theme. Let me lower the camera a little bit. But you have the AMD emblem and then let me find it. Okay. USB 2.0, your mic, your headset, and you have USB 3.0, which is nice and it includes a three and a quarter bay right below it in case you have a card reader or if you're old school, a floppy drive. Okay, let me go ahead and put it to the side. And it looks like we have some goodies in the bag and they always use zip ties which can be a pain in the butt sometimes so we have a speaker which is nice and screws and motherboard standoffs and all that fun stuff right here so now I can hook up this speaker and not have to worry about if it's booting properly or not but let me see something. If it doesn't have motherboard standoffs, it's not that big of a deal or issue because I have extra motherboard standoffs. But I only see two motherboard standoffs in this little bag unless they're implemented on the board or something, which I don't see. So that is very, very weird. So, yeah, they don't come with enough motherboard standoff so that sucks but anyway it it's okay because I have extra ones laying around okay and let's get started you have a motherboard or I should say a fan it should glow red it is sleeved black as you can tell so you have one fan here and let me look yeah that's the only fans there so I'll use the orange fan in the front so it's gonna have a little unique look to it uh, red black and orange theme I guess so let's go here to the cables and let's see if these cables actually work as in they're not gonna fall out 
All right, this blue connector, this is your USB 3.0. Okay. And let me try to see what this is. This right here is your USB, it looks like. And then for your audio, here it is. And imagine that the cable doesn't pop out when I do that. So they're in secured, which is nice. So on top of that, here's all your fancy switches, your power switch, red and black, your power LED. It's going to be blue and white reset switch, blue and white. Your hard drive activity light is going to be white and orange, and generally the dominant color is going to be your positive. So, there you have it. Let me go ahead and show you the back. So, here's the back slots right here. And it looks like uh, i got to take this screw off right here to take these uh, this off. So, it's not that bad. It has holes for water cooling. Um, this case is not really meant for that looking at it so yeah and uh, I think the reason why the um, case has the uh, two standoff screws is because if you look they're actually punched out raised all along here instead of uh, the standard motherboard uh, standoff theme so I'm gonna have to figure out that so that's what I think is going on here and yeah this is the case so sorry for the long video if it was an inconvenience for you but I'm just showing you what I got and as always comment subscribe rate this video click that like button you guys have a great day bye